first two meetings? Um, <clears throat> yeah, there, there was the, there was improvement uh, in the interior line. You've done good. You've done a good job. Uh, still, things we can things we can improve on, but I think better better performance week two. So did your right coach Mark? There were a couple guys who impressed the other day. Mm -hmm. uh, Winvich, McCray, mm -hmm. you know, Shalman. Can you give updates on their status? Yeah, all, all three are working through something. Injuries. Working through something, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And any of those long-term season-ending type of deals? No. No. Um, and Weekly as well. He's another one. Yep. Same thing. Same thing. And and today would be, you know, interesting. I think uh, all all those. Did you mention those names again? Winovich. Winovich. Weekly. Weekly. Shellman. Shellman. McCray. McCray. Um, yeah, I mean, there's good, good possibility that two out of those four could be back today. Which two? Um, maybe even three. So we'll, you know, we'll have more information today. Same, same kind of uh, you know, status as, as Joe Carriage, you know, day to day. What was your last year, Coach? But improving. What have you seen from Tom Strobel from the time that he made the position switch in spring to seeing game action on Saturday? Hmm. Um, it's just a, a real willingness to, to do you know, whatever the coaches uh, advise or a uh, willingness to want to be on the field. Uh, real real gung-ho attitude as far as uh, in that regard. Just said, you know, what we did, we dabbled uh, on the offensive side of the ball in the spring, playing some tight end and defensive line, and then over the summer and, and going into training camp, we really focused just on the on the defensive line, and, and just recently, you know, just in the last week, uh, you know, he's come back over to the offense and and uh, you know, just not a moment's hesitation. Hey, Tom, what do you think about this? And yeah, anything, anything for the team coach and uh, you know, wants to play. So, you expect that he'll stay on offense? Uh, it's, I, I, yeah, I do, I do. Uh, you know, but he can, he can do both. You know, he's, that's what a two-way player can do. There's a real value there for to the team, and uh, especially with the with the willing attitude. Uh, we mentioned the offensive line earlier. Was it as simple as better leverage? Uh, why were they Why were they better this week? Uh, Coach Dravino really uh, you know, really stressed the, the practice um, and the technique, the fundamentals, and, and practicing the way that they're going to play in the game on Saturday. So it wasn't simple. It was uh, it was a lot of hard work uh, during the week. And, uh, you know, we'll be striving for that again this week. Jim, could you evaluate the play of both your place kicker, Kenny Allen, and your punter, Blake O'Neill, and have you ever had a, an Aussie-style kicker before? Um, played with an Aussie-style kicker during Bennett. That was, uh, but <clears throat> you know, a lot of the, a lot of all the punters are starting to kick. Yeah. You know, they've adapted that in their into their game in some form or fashion. Uh, Kenny Allen, um, really pleased. Really pleased the way he uh, kicked the ball through the uprights, you know, when asked to do so. Uh, also good in, in the kickoff game. You know, really good. Blake, uh, you know, another, another strong performance by, by Blake O'Neill. Um, very happy with, uh, you know, with the Monumental improvement we've made in the, the operation behind the field goal. Uh, the, the protection, the, the snap, the hold, and um, it's, it's pride. We've come as far in that area um, you know, since spring practice 
since the start of training camp is any area on the football team and it's um, been good. Mass, mass improvement you know, just in the snap hold kick mechanic and protection.